Good morning, year two, and welcome to our next day, all about division. Uh, you've done amazingly with all the work that you have produced, and I'm really pleased to see that you've got dividing by 10. So well done. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Excellent. So today we're going to be using all the skills we've learned about division to solve some word problems. Um, uh, so don't forget, this is the division sign that we've got here. Let's do the division sign together. Fantastic. Brilliant. So uh, first things first, I'm going to see how smart you are by asking you, can you think of any other words that mean the same as divide? Pause the video and have a chat with your helper or your adult and then come back to see if you've got any of the words that I've got on the screen here. OK, so let's have a little look. Have you got these? My turn, your turn. Share. Sharing. Share equally. Group. Grouping. Equal groups. If you got one of those, or all of them, or some of them, give yourself a high five. Well done. Brilliant. OK, so today we're going to be looking at word problems and using the skills for that we've learned to work out division problems. So let's have a little look at this problem together. James has eight sweets. He splits his sweets in half. Half means two groups, splitting them equally into half. How many sweets does he have in each group? Okay, so the first thing when we look at word problems is we need to find the important information. So the important information that I've got here is, the first one is how many sweets have I got? Well, I've got eight sweets or James has got eight sweets and he's going to share or split them into how many groups? Oh, two groups. He's splitting them in half. He's splitting them into two groups. So then I could say eight divided by two equals, because that's my problem that I'm going to be solving. So I'm going to draw two circles because I've got two groups that I'm going to be sharing into. May not be the best circles, but they're at least places that I can sort and divide. OK, and then I'm going to share out my eight sweets. And I'm going to do that equally. Go. Sharing them out in half or in two groups until I've shared them all out. Now, how many sweets does James have in each group? One, two, three, four. So my number sentence that I would write that, my division number sentence will be, he had eight sweets. He shared them or divided them, all that symbol, between two groups equals, and there are one, two, three, four sweets in each group. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at a word problem, finding the important information, and then working out by either drawing the circles or doing it uh, on a whiteboard. OK, and sorting it out on the whiteboard. So let's have a little look. Let's have a look at our next problem. Emily has 12 pieces of fruit. She puts them equally into two bowls. How many pieces of fruit are in each bowl? With your partner or with your adult, think about what's the important information and what are you going to do to be able to solve this problem? Pause the video here. Okay, so hopefully you've had a good chat at and to work out this problem here and you found that important information. Let's see how you got on, see if it's the same as what I've got. Okay, so my important information is Emily has 12 pieces of fruit and she puts them equally into two bowls. Fantastic. And now we need to know how many pieces of fruit are in each bowl. And how are you going to work that answer out? 
would it probably be something like this? Two circles, and I'm going to share out 12 pieces of fruit into the two bowls. And I'm going to share them out equally. So let's have a go at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I've shared out my 12 pieces of fruit by doing my little dots. And now I'm going to see how many pieces of fruit are in each bowl. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there are six pieces of fruit in each bowl. So my number sentence would be, ooh, see if you can think about it while I write it up on the board. I would say 12 pieces of fruit, because that's how many I started with. 12 divided by how many groups did I have? I had two equals. And how many did I have in each group? I had six in each group. So I would write six. My turn. 12 divided by two equals six. Your turn. Fantastic. Well done. OK. Last one then, and then we're going to do some work uh, by yourself. So Lucy has 10 socks in her basket. She puts them into pairs. How many pairs will she have? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that important information, the information that is going to tell me what I'm going to be working out. So my first piece of information will be how many socks has Lucy got? Oh, she's got 10 socks. So I know I'm going to be doing, sorting 10 socks in her basket. She puts them into pairs. Oh, hang on. If I've got pairs, how many is pairs? Oh, when we ask you to get into pairs, it means that we're asking you to get into two, groups of two. So she has 10 socks and she's putting them into pairs, into groups of two. So let's work it out. Let me do my circles. We're doing two circles, because we're doing it into pairs or circles. And then we are going to sort out the socks. We've got 10 socks that we're going to share and divide equally between two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, and then how many pairs or how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five. I've got five in that one. One, two, three, four, five in that one. Ooh. What would my number sentence be? Pause the video here and turn and talk to your adult. OK, let's see if your one will be the same as what I've got. I'm going to start off with 10 because she had 10 socks. 10. Shared or divided into two groups equals, and there are five in each group. Just like that. So 10 divided by two equals five. Excellent. So now it's your turn to have a go by yourself. We're going to do a bit of partner practice first. So you might want to do this with your adult so that they can check the answers with you. So I've got two stickers here or two problems that I'd like you to have a go at. Um, do it on a whiteboard or on a spare piece of paper if you've got it. So you've got Amira has eight stickers. She shares them equally between two of her friends. How many stickers does each friend get? And the other one is Harry has 16 sweets. He wants to share them equally between two of his friends. How many sweets does each friend have? I'd like you to pause the video now, have a go and see if you can answer these questions. Well done. 
it's good to see that you're working really hard with your adult or by yourself. Well done. So let's see the answer and work it out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the important information. Amira has eight stickers and she shares them between two of her friends. So I know that I'm sharing eight between two groups. Now, you, I'm sure, have already done all of the working out. And Mr. Knight's been doing it while you've been busy as well. So I know what the answers are. So eight divided by or shared between two equals, shout it out so I can hear. You're right, it's four. Eight shared between two equals four. Okay, let's have a go with this one here. Let's find the important information. Harry has 16 sweets. Oh, that's the important bit. And he wants to share them equally between two of his friends. Brilliant. Another bit of information that's important. Okay, my number sentence or my division number sentence would be 16. And if we remember, the biggest number always goes first when we are dividing. So it's a good good way of remembering to make sure you definitely get it the right way. Divided or shared between two children or two of his friends equals, shout it out so I can hear. Oh, if you said eight, you got it right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. 16 divided by two equals eight. Well done. So finally, in your homework books or in your uh, books, you will find that you have got questions. Uh, you've got eight questions. Each of them, I'd like you to read, find the important information and then work out the answers using a division number sentence. You can also draw the circles that you're going to be sharing out into. Um, a little trick, they're all sharing by two. So you can do two circles and share out that number. Okay, enjoy, have fun. I know you're going to be brilliant at this and I look forward to seeing your work uh, later. Have a lovely day and see you tomorrow. Bye.